YouTube, what's up, Zyralize here, showing you a tutorial on how to sell any car um, for full price. Uh, so this is Money Glitch After Patch 1.11 for full price. This is an easy glitch, guys, but if you want to sell for full price, you're going to have to buy a whole new adder from the internet, and you will get your profit back, guys. But, yeah, so let's get started in this today's YouTube video. Um, so like I said before, you're going to have to buy a new adder from the internet online. Um, so all you just have to do is go to the internet and then, you know, buy a new uh, adder or buy a new Z-Type. Because those are the two uh, most common cars that sell a lot, sell um, a good amount of money. So what you want to do is get in a random car and make sure no personal vehicles are out and you're in an invite-only session. You just want to call a Pegasus and once you call Pegasus you want to order the stretch. And this is the limo and what you want to do to actually if you want to buy the stretch you want to go to uh, the internet travel and transport and then go to southern uh, San Andreas and all the way at the bottom there it is but anyways like I said if you want to sell the car uh, for full price so like 600,000 each time you do this just buy a, a new adder and then just customize it a bit and then put it back in your garage and then you can now sell it for full price I don't know why it doesn't work for duplicated cars and cars you bring online and stuff it just doesn't work and this is a hundred percent way to get full price for the vehicles and yeah it's a lot better than seventy thousand you get but sometimes you do get seventy thousand but most of the time you actually get six hundred thousand or seven hundred thousand it's the timing you have to get right so once you get the limo you just want to park it right in front of the garage and then just get out and walk in so you don't you just park this because you don't want the garage door to open and then you just get in your car um, that you customize and you bought online that would sell for a lot. So I bought this car online like a day ago and then I customized it out a bit. And then I'll just drive it out. Yeah, you're dead. Invited me to a party. So <laughs> once again. Alright. Uh, <laughs> but once you're out of your garage, you will be spawned down the street. You just want to call it Moore's Mutual Insurance and request the adder and put it back in your garage. Um, if Moore's Mutual Insurance doesn't pick up, I have a fix uh, later on in the video, so just stay tuned if, it th if they don't pick up. So once you request Adder, uh, and just go to the internet, go to San Southern San Andreas, and then buy the Karen Rebel. Once you buy the Karen Rebel, you can replace a vehicle, or if you already had a vehicle, uh, or if you already had room, then just now you can just go down to Los Santos Customs. Now guys, I upload daily GTA 5 content, and if that seems really, you know, sick for you guys, or you like daily uh, GTA 5 videos, tips and tricks, glitches, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos, and if you are signed into YouTube channel and would like to support my channel, please click the like button down below, it would be much appreciated. Anyways, drive to Los Santos Customs and damage your vehicle just a bit, um, so some headlights are uh, actually out, I guess. Um, anyways guys, once you drive in, drive near Los Santos Customs, you want to just put your two front vehicle, two front car, uh, wheels, whatever, uh, front wheels into Los Santos Customs like this, and then go to contacts, go to your mechanic. Once you do this, uh, you will see the Karen Rebels right there. Um, you just want to hover over the Karen Rebel, and then you want to hit A, and right after you hit A to request, you want to hit the right trigger and hold the right trigger so you can drive in. And... As soon as you do that, you will be in a cutscene. Once you're in a cutscene, you can just easily sell your vehicle. I sold mine for around, I think, 650000 I'm not too sure. But that's a lot of good profit. And I'm just going to fast forward this part to show you that I can do this once, once again. And once I fast forward this part, um, I just call, got on my Karen Rebel, called the Pegasus, ordered the stretcher. And I think it's... I think it's a stretcher, I don't know, the limo or whatever, and then I got into limo, and then parked into my garage and did it over again, that's the fastest way to do it, but anyways guys, um, like I said before, if it doesn't sell for full price, you must have not bought a new adder from the online store, um, but that's what worked for me, I bought, the, uh, I bought a new adder and customized it a bit, and it worked, so... Like I said, if Moore's Mutual isn't picking up, I will just have it at the end of this video, so in like a minute or so. And I know this is a long video, but guys, um, 
I just wanted to show you proof that you can do this multiple times. Um, if your car disappears, um, hopefully you made enough profit before your car disappears because sometimes it just disappears and doesn't go in your garage. I don't know why, but hopefully you made enough profit to buy it again and had money over. But I made a lot of profit off of this and it's a risk uh, that I'm sure tons are willing to take. But the downside of this is that you actually have to wait for the mechanic to actually deliver the car. But all you have to do is hit A again and then drive right in after you hit A. You gotta get the timing kinda right. You don't wanna go too fast because then you can just drive right into Los Santos Customs without getting in the cutscene. But you wanna get it just right. Anyways guys, um, I upload yeah, daily GT5 glitches so please come check out my channel if you are new and aren't subscribed. But anyways, let's get on to the tip on how to like if in Moore's Mutual isn't picking up as you can see I did this glitch and um it Moore's Mutual wasn't picking up so I found out a way how to automatically make them like kind of pick up all the time so as you can see I'm going to contact Moore's Mutual Insurance and there I'm like wait they're not picking up why not um this is an easy solution it's pretty easy guys if you have any more problems please put in the comments below i'll try to help you you just have to leave gta online and then join back in the invite only server um that's basically all guys it's a pretty easy glitch um to do and you earn a lot of cash from it but guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe this is zyralize and i'm out peace